Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. <clears throat> um, back the, uh, the Boxing Bookie is back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Going to get into Adrian Carell, and I'm going to say this name wrong. Sivinetti Nashinga. I think I'm saying that right, but I'm sure it's wrong. Um, we're going to get into the rematch. The first fight produced one of the upsets of the year. Uh, not too many people were familiar with Curiel. We had, we had seen Nashinga on the zone before. Uh, people had liked him for his all access on, and this is a great fight. And and uh, we're going to get into it, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. We don't gamble here. Uh, we use DraftKings for all our odds. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. But if you do gamble, I'm going to show you how to, how to continually make money betting on the sport of boxing, how to... Bring down the house. Uh, there's always a bull market somewhere. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. And we were 4 all last week. We're going to go have another perfect week again this week. It's just something that we do here. Uh, so follow me. Also subscribe uh, to my Patreon. You can request. A lot of people are requesting. I do. I break down fights. Guys, if you want me to break down a fight, join the Patreon. You can request all the fights you want for $5 a month. You'll get a free T-shirt. You'll get a ton of other perks. Join now. It's $5 a month. You can ask me to break down any fight. You get the lock of the week. There's so many perks there for $5 a month. Uh, and uh, you support the Patreon. And you support uh, and you support the show. Uh, so let's get – also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all right, let's get into the fight. Curiel and uh, Dostenga. Dostenga. Dostenga? Dostenga. But we're going to go with that. I've changed my mind on this fight, right? Going back, watching Norshinger, he's the better boxer. He's more fundamentally sound. You guys know I typically like the African style, high guard, using the jab, following the right hand. He's got good pop, right? He's a better athlete. He moves well. He's a good body puncher. He, he, he doubles up. He throws in combinations. You know, it's jab, right hand, right hand. Jab, jab. You know, he doubles up on things. I, I, I like it. I just think he's better. That's not going to equate to a win here, I don't think. And you watch him, and he's he's not that difficult to hit. If you can get inside his jab, he's going to trade. He's got a really good jab. If you can get inside his jab, which Curiel's a master at, you can get to him. And this guy cannot resist a slugfest. He can't. He's done it over and over again. Uh, You you go back. I, I watched the fight with... Was, let's see if I can find this fight. Hector Flores, back in late 2022. Go go see if you can find this fight. I found it. Paul Melanagi is doing the commentary on it. And he can outbox this guy from long range all day. And he doesn't want to. He wants to sit and trade with them. If you sit and trade with Curiel, it's going to be a problem. You know, And it's, it's just, you know, I, I don't think that he can resist the slugfest. I really like it. You know, if I was scouting Norsinga, I would sign him in a second. He's accurate with his right hand. He's accurate with his power shots. He's tight. He's elbows in high, you know, not, not the super high guard, but on the phone, elbows in. He's good. Like he's fundamentally sound. He's got good pop. He's got a good jab. You know, I hate this sound cliche, but he reminds me a lot of Ike Corte, who I love, you know, little mini 108 pound Ike Corte. He's, he's athletic. He's mobile. He's got good reflexes. He's really, really good. Curiel's going to beat him again. Uh, and, you know, Curiel's a body puncher. He's a come forward slugger. And he's got a chin of granite. You know, his chin is absolute granite. And if Curiel can't stop him, he can't stop him from getting on the inside. If he can't stop him from getting on the inside, this is going to be a slugfest. If it's a slugfest, Curiel's eventually going to win it because he's the bigger hitter and he's more accustomed to that fight. He's he's he, he's made for it. He wants to exchange on the inside at all times. Curiel's got a, you know a, a good jab too. I wish he would use it a little more, but he does use it to get on the inside. This is just an aggressive, swarming, come forward fighter. Southpaw. I think he presents a lot of issues for Nostanga, and I, I I think you know this could be a fight where he's losing rounds, losing rounds, losing rounds. And then knocks him out, right? I, I just I, I can't see Nostanga 
durability. And, and Kirill's got a much better gas tank. He keeps up the work, work rate. And this thing kind of fades. You know, you can see he gets worn down and his, his punch output drops and it gets a little sloppy. Kirill doesn't. Like, he's he's built for this type of fight. And he's going to get this thing into the fight that he that Kirill wants. He's going to get in the fight on his terms. And, and that, that's ultimately going to be the difference in the fight. And I, I think when you look at this, like, how did he win again? Well, he, I made you fight my fight, right? Because if I was just in an island watching these two fighters, I would say Nosenga is the better fighter. I don't even think it's close, really. But it doesn't matter because he's not going to fight his fight. He's not going to fight a smart fight. You know, Guerrero can cut the ring off. He can get on the inside. He can do a lot of things really well. He can slide right onto the inside, make you fight his fight. He's, he's, he's a little more athletic than you, you might think. Kirill's a good fighter, and, and he's going to get Nosenga to fight his fight. He's got a good cast tank, and he throws everything hard, and it's it's going to be that kind of night. Uh, but let, let's take a look at the odds. Let's see what we're doing here, you guys. I've shown my hand. Let's take a look here. Kirill is minus 150. It's a little surprise. I, I thought Nosenga might be the favorite. He's not. And I, I think that's the right bet. Um, but it, it's just a one times bet. I'm not super confident on this, but I, I, I think Curiel wins. It's 66 66 is what we're going to make on this. So 67 bucks on this on a hundred dollar bet. Uh, bet it any way you want. But right now, we only have it, 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 if there was a, an under, or well, I wouldn't probably take the under because it could knock out, it could come out at any time. But I would take Curiel by stoppage. If you can get a book that has that right now, this just has the money line. So we're going to take Curiel. On the money line, one times bet, hundred dollars makes it sixty-seven dollars. The other thing I wanted to address, and does it still say that? Okay, they changed it. No Stanger's box rec used to say he was four eleven. That's not true. He's five five with a sixty-seven inch reach. So um, I, I want to put that out there. They they did change this. They said he was a lot. He's five five. A 67-inch reach, a uh, long fighter, so don't get fooled by that. And uh, Curiel is, is, you know, compact, more powerful, um, shorter fighter, shorter reach, but, you know, his fight's on the inside. So follow me, all forms, social media, uh, at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the, uh, uh, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Also, subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description. You get all types of great perks. You can uh, get the lock of the week. You can request I handicap any fight. You get a free T-shirt. All the perks and a heck of a lot more for just $5 a month. It's a steal. So join the Patreon. Also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is February 12th, 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.